You guys are That afraid. was longer than... Yes. I thought. <laughs> That's cool. That was great. You had great questions, it's really dude. Like three hours? Uh, oh, has it? <laughs> yeah, it felt like two and a half, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, awesome. like, wow. Yeah, thank you. Dude, you guys, uh, I'll tell you what, that exceeded uh, my expectations. And I'll tell you what, Patrick, like, that was the best because... I you mean, were the dude. You made it happen. No, number one, <laughs> Marion is, is so kind of charismatic when she sings, but that was you with the... With the gym there, I think that's some of the that's the best stuff I've ever seen on Twitch, like visually looking. Because obviously we're not exactly a visual network. It will definitely make the highlight of the week. Uh, <laughs> I should certainly hope so, because it looked awesome. Excellent, excellent. The chat is hysterical. No, oh, they are the best. Yeah. Like, they are too, very, not. very funny. Yeah, it was hard to remember my words because they kept making me think other words. Uh, no, they are. They're yeah. hilarious. They, Can they still often, hear me, or the mic still? Oh, uh, we're we're still on. Oh, yeah, my, my vehicle is a 2004 Subaru, and it gets kick-ass mileage. Um, we're at almost 170000 and I've had very few repairs. I am quite happy with that car. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, yeah absolutely. Super to endorse you or something. Pardon me? You get super to endorse you or something. I have tried. I have actually tried. Yeah, because I, I don't, there's not very many companies I would feel comfortable with in terms of an endorsement, but Subaru is one of them. Yeah. What's like the average it. MPG is really good questions. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I calculated it, but I'm bad at remembering numbers, and that was in 2009 when I did the 50 states tour. So that number is not in my head anymore, but it was a number that uh, made me happy considering it has my entire life packed inside it, and we drive very hard over lots of mountains and shit. So. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you guys like, have you like tried like bomb like the Subaru Twitter account? That's usually where you can get uh, the the, the uh, Feel feel free to bomb the uh, Subaru Twitter account. Um, oh, feel free. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> can you pull that up? Uh, yeah. I have driven that car through blizzards with like snow higher than the yeah, paper. Yeah, cool. I have been like pulled over by the side of the road in negative ten, scooping snow out of the wheel wells. <laughs> She's been with me through the desert at 120. That's a good car. I love my car. Yeah, we've been <laughs> Well, and you're just beginning for the summer, right? Oh, just starting, yeah. We, we've we done uh, the Southwest, and we're, uh, yeah, Southern California, which I'll do a bunch this year, and then, uh, and then north up the coast, and then through the mountains, and then East Coast run real quick. Last year, I did, like, the Eastern states really thoroughly, mm -hmm. and so this year, I'm doing the Western states really thoroughly, and... Uh, Back to your fucking swing. So. Dude. Yeah. Like that last is. Last year it was amazing. Way better turnout than we thought. People over there are so, like. Super dedicated? Well, and stoked about live music, I think. And, like, uh, yeah. people are just more used to going out for events there in general than, than in the like States. Every, all the bands that people, people in, this, in the States, like, stay home, you know? Yeah. I think people, I mean, people that I've, I've talked to that have toured in, in Europe, like, it's it seems like the way that you not like your business model or I mean like like the method by yeah. which you go out and tour like seems like the way to do it in Europe because all I ever hear about is that if you actually play venues you're basically paying to tour Europe even if you're like a moderately successful band just well, because venues are, are and stuff are expensive yeah and the, and the um, Everything's more expensive over there, but you also get things for the expensive. So, I mean, it's like, we did it by rail, which meant we were hauling everything on and off of trains all the time. Jesus. That was fun. I took a much lighter typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> I took Neil in for Neil Armstrong. My, uh, How many typewriters do you have? Five. Five? Mm hmm And the Hawaiian one, is that in Hawaii? Or? I, no, I actually acquired it in Hawaii because I got to Hawaii and went, oh my god, I forgot to arrange for a typewriter. Ah. Normally when I fly somewhere, I crowdsource a typewriter because a lot of people have them up in their attic. <laughs> and, uh, and I forgot until the night before the show, oh my god, I don't have a typewriter. And so I got on Twitter and someone on Twitter completely rescued me with a typewriter that was there, had been like their great grandma's and they loved it. And um, they brought it to the show, and then we went out to coffee, and then we went out to breakfast again, and she was just so sweet, and we really liked each other, and uh, she said, you should take this typewriter, because it's not having any adventure sitting in my attic. <laughs> so now that typewriter is my flying typewriter. Gotcha. It's, it's, it's light enough to... Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a laptop. So, ah. it, uh, <laughs> this is my desktop. There we go. Yeah. 
It's a, and it uh, goes with me when I fly. And that one is named Lily for Queen Lily Okulani because when I go to Hawaii, I go to museums and wrestle with issues of national sovereignty <laughs> instead of going to the beaches because that's me. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, nerds. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, thank you guys so much for coming out, man. It really, is, uh, it really was awesome. It added so much to uh, to the show. So, and thank you for your all <laughs> uh, <laughs> Very rarely does somebody. Uh, Can you just put my tape writer away. He is, uh, he is, uh, you, know, you know, a guy who's watched almost, I mean, definitely every NSW show and then uh, the proto show we did before this. Very rarely uh, does somebody. Uh, Say something more offensive than what I would have really said. <laughs> you certainly it earned takes that special talent. I grew up in the back so, of an ale stand, I, so I, I very much appreciate your uh, skills. Your addition to the show. Well, I'm local, so okay. Hey. There we go. Don't hassle me. Oh, can I have this is, yeah. Can I have the other stand? Yeah. 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 I'm in Tenoraza, yeah. but uh, music. Uh, frequent. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank oh, you for right tuning in today was, was. to the fabulous Twit programming. And it was so good, we're going to play it all again. So, see you tomorrow morning for Floss. Here's TNT. Bye, folks. <laughs> but, I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, more than just, just horribly incorporated into the I know, I know. <laughs> you are not all. defined by your Holocaust jokes. <laughs> Wait till we put, in, put together Justin's clip of all the horrible jokes he's Oh, done. no, oh, yeah. I, I got... Uh, we got banned from reading ads uh, a couple Oh, are we going to do a straight read? Oh, man. That's too late right now. Well, no, we might we'll get a call on that tomorrow, to but I've got, I've got time tomorrow, so I can actually do a recording. Yeah, I moved on Sunday, thanks to a bunch of friends, and it took about five hours, and then... So do you live next door to me now? Is that...